We start off today's video at 26,450 points and rank 22 on the leaderboard. The plan for today is simple. We want to continue upgrading our gear to the best gear possible while also increasing our points as much as possible. Our long term goal is the Inferno, but for now we just want to complete Call Wars Dungeon. As you guys may recall in an earlier video I was talking about the, how the way I do Call Wars Dungeon might have been nerfed. However this is not the case and Jags actually made the right and respectful decisions to make it so you only ever have to get KC for a specific God Wars dungeon boss once. And you can enter the instance as many times as you want after that and the last recall method was not changed at all by this. This means it's time to complete Zami, Sardoman and Armadol. Let's get into it. These kills are going to go by so quick, I'm already on 5 KC. And I already got my Sauros Sword 6 KC! That's 250 points already dude! Oh my god, that's so nice. 6 KC Sara Sword. 250 points putting me up to 26.7k. Sara Doman's Light, dude. Okay, so I don't have a Staff of Dead yet, unfortunately, but that's nice. Sara Doman's Sword again, 99kc, still no ACB or Hill. Okay, obtained 25 million strength XP. 26,950 league points in total now. And I'm almost dying. Sardom's Light, 157kc. Armadol Crossbow, 158kc. Let's go, bro. Let's go. That's such a good drop. 250 points just like that for equipping the ACB. I am going to stay here till the hilt because I'm trying to get Inferno already and I want the SGS. But an ACB is so nice. Actually, I think I'm going to go to Zami first and I'm going to go get the Staff of Dead so I can come back here and make it a little bit easier. But ACB, so, so nice. Wait, there's a task for make a 4 dose potion now? It's 50 points. Obtain 25 million hit points XP. I didn't even know I was hitting that, dude. That's another 250 points. I'm at 27.5k now. Zamoraki and Spear, 178kc. That's like our 6th or 7th Spear. Still no stuff. I'm just four specs at me. Another Z Spear, 198kc. I just want my stuff, man. 200kc, grimy Atlanta times. Godsword Shard 2, dude. I can make two blades now. That's actually really good. That's sick. Zamoraki and Spear again, dude. 223kc. Zamoraki and Spear again, dude. 233kc, I think I have 10 of these by now. Zamorak Spear again, dude. 244kc, I'm getting one like every 10 kills now. I, no, I just got back-to-back -back Z Spears. I'm not even trolling, I just got back-to-back -back Z Spears. Another Z Spear, 261 kill count, bro. I'm never getting this stuff, I've decided. Zamorak Hilt, bro. I just got another Hilt. 264kc, bro. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Stop of the Dead, let's go! 313kc, dude. Oh, my God, let's go. Way too long, but we finally got it. 250 points. Okay, and that is a Staff of the Dead, finally. I was going pretty dry. 313kc. We're now at 27.75k points. Nice. We need to continue climbing. We're going to go back to Sara and try and get that hilt. All right, we made some more Karamans. I'm going to put the Sara Light on the Staff of the Dead because I just like the Staff of Light look more. It's really cool. Um, the plan right now is to go back to Sara, use the Staff of Light method with uh, like the BGS into the Staff of Light so I take less damage from Zilliana, pull that hilt, and then we need to make our way to Armadil and try and get the full set from there. Let's do it. Okay, so this is going to be an even easier method to uh, Zilliana. You just hit him with the BGS three, four times, or four times actually. And then on your last spec, you go into the Staff of Light so that her melee attacks are less and they're half and you can tank more. And it's almost, uh, it's almost a whip. It's a little worse than a whip, but it makes the kills a lot easier. And this is actually the best method possible. You can still do it without the Staff. Obviously, the BGS itself is really good. Did we get a hilt there? Unfortunately, we did not. But we're going to keep going. I just got Sara Hill, let's go, let's go. Two, 162 kill count, Sara Hill, let's go. I can go get ready for armor now. 
Okay, so I had this delusional plan of not even doing any range content until I was 99 range for the ranging cape that way. I didn't, I wasn't going to do avas, but I really want to go do armor, so I just decided to do it now. That's animal magnetism done, and an avas accumulator acquired. Okay, first kill for 100 points, no chest plate, unfortunately. <laughs> Let's go 10kc Armadil Helmet. It's not even bad because we need to get all of them eventually. And that is 250 points right there for an Armadil Helmet. We're now at 28,100 points. Let's fucking go. After that Armadil Helm, I went to do a quick TOB run with my friend Maz as he needed to get it done for his own task and points. He's making his own videos and we're at a very similar place in terms of progress. So if you want to check out his vids, his channel is linked in the description. Now during this theater, I actually ended up dying twice and this is how it ended up. For who? For who? Where is it? Oh my god, I got a purple? I got a purple? I died twice and I got a purple. Oh my god. How did- I, I got a rapier! <laughs> I died twice and I got a rapier! <laughs> oh my god. First, first, my second KC and I got a rapier, dude. That's 250 points right there. Oh my god. We went back to Armadil. Now, I'm not using chins for this method. I'm just using the ACB times 5 spec and animal 44 kill count. We managed to pick ourselves up an Armadil chain skirt. If there's any boss I ever want to get lucky on, it's Arma because there's just no relics that help me out with it. It's a very tedious boss. It's going to taste a long time. Every other boss with the relics is really sped up, but because I can't melee Armadil and my count is very, very melee based, it just does make it a little bit slower. But 44 KC, we have the helmet and the chain skirt. If we get ourselves the chest plate, that is 500 points from wearing the whole set. And if we get ourselves the hilt, that is 500 points from making all the god swords and using all the god swords. So either way, I was gonna be happy. Okay, and that is 50 KC at armor. Any chance of a chest plate? Unfortunately not. I just got Dragonstone bolts. What the hell? So Perp and his stream were doing a nightmare mass. Now I've never done nightmare in my life, but just defeating it with no loots or anything is a 250 point elite task. So obviously I was gonna go ahead and leash myself a KC real quick. I got prayer pots, bro. 250 points though. T.Y. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yo, and that is 98 range here at Arma. One more level and that's another 250 points. Armadale Hill, let's go! Oh my god, dude. Oh, I was just watching Skiddler do Bando, so I wasn't really watching the stream, but let's go. Armadale Hilt, that is the final hilt that I need to make my god sword set. Um, how do I get out of here? There, there we go. Let's fucking go, dude. Arma Hilt, that means we get 500 points from using every single God Sword on this game. And I have just equipped every single God Sword. That is the AGS equipped for 500 points, putting me up to 29.1k. Every single God Sword equipped, we have ourselves the AGS, the BGS, shout out Eviescape, SGS. We even have two Zami Hilts. 29.1k points, that is another master task done, and I'm so happy. The only item we need left to complete God Wars Dungeon completely is the armor chest plate. Okay, and that is achieving a prayer bonus of 30. I didn't even know that was a thing, to be honest, but that is another 100 points earned, putting me on to 29.2k. Okay, and this should count as defeating a fire giant in Kandor, and let's really hope it does. 50 points right there, 29,250, nice. Mahogany portal created, 29,300. Alright, so I just got 50 points off defeating the Penance Queen. I didn't do anything, I leeched it off the CC League BA, so if you guys want to do the same and leech it off them, you can go in their CC and ask for them. But that puts them up to 29,350 points, and that makes me rank 24 on the leaderboards. Every single godsword in-game. The Grazi Rapier, the Armadil Crossbow, the Staff of Light, the Armored Chainsker, and the Helm. This is what you call progress. We end off today's video with 29,350 points, and rank 24 on the leaderboard, we have managed to maintain our top page rank. Today has been an insane video, so if you guys have enjoyed, please leave some support by hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. The progress doesn't stop here, and tomorrow we'll be breaking that 30k point barrier, unlocking Zenites, potentially a Suffering, and start getting ready for that Inferno attempt. We'll also go back to Arma and try and complete that Arma chestplate for 500 more points with the full armor set. I'll see you guys later, thank you guys so much for watching.